this is NUTV's presentation of Calgary Roller Derby Association action. Once again, we're back. I'm Justin Harger. We Rogo with you again. And my guest tonight is local roller derby legend, Trophy Wife. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> we're here for Shrewd, Lewd, and Tattoo, June 25th, 2011. Rash and Lassie is against their traditional local rivals, the Cutthroat Carhops. That's right. What are we expecting tonight, Trophy? Well, tonight, the thing is, is that the Lassies have been ruling the Calgary roller derby scene for, let's say, I would say about three years now. The Cutthroat Carhops are the team that have been the closest to actually beating them. So we're keeping our fingers crossed. The Carhops got some really, really great players pulled up for this season. So we're keeping our fingers crossed. Hopefully the Carhops can do it. We want the Lassie rule to be over. Now, Calgary does play really differently than a lot of other leagues. They're really physical. A lot of the Calgary girls are really kind of, they're bigger, they're, they're, they're a little bit more vicious, and they do the really, really, um, those hard hits a bit more than a lot of the other leagues. So we're going to see a lot of hard hitting tonight. They've been cutting back a little bit because they just came from Western, where they've been seeing a little bit more of that international journey cutting back a little bit on the hitting, but still, Calgary hits hard. Cutthroat car hops, thrash and lassies, expect all hell to break loose, because we sure do. And we'll be starting in just a moment. Back to you guys. Number six, the lesser known spice is killer. Right, folks, thank you, Justin and Trophy, for that wonderful introduction and for all the crowd for that rendition of the national anthem. We hope you sang along. So, Trophy, we're back on. I think we're about to get started. We are. We are just about to get started. The refs are just figuring everything out right now. The teams are having their huddles, coming up with a strategy, pumping each other up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how many of you saw the uh, Calgary Roller Derby uh, Zombies versus Heroes at the Comic Expo last week. So my co-announcer tonight, Trophy Wife, 
did some announcing at the Comic Book Expo last right. weekend. Tell me about so that. You know what, it was a lot of fun. Um, the Comic Book Festival, there was just a lot of people really dressed up, really into it. And uh, we got to go around because our mics were really fantastic there. So we got to go around to the audience, ask questions. And everyone was just really into it, had a lot of questions. And everybody learned about the game. So it was, it was perfect. A lot of fun. Great. Now, as they prepare to do their little demo thing, yeah. tell me, tonight's game, we talked about it off the top, traditional rivalry in this town, but it's All like very one-sided. Very one-sided. One but the thing is, though, is that the car hop this season receives a bunch of really great movies. Now, they are newbies, the but that's fine. Rogers, now, they also do have a bit of advantage back, tonight because Chrissy Cruiser is in playing. Camera. They've got a it's bunch of different players who are not playing. Who else isn't playing? One of their one of their rookie extraordinaires tonight isn't playing. Uh, her Double name is failing me at the moment. Cameras. But yeah, but Chrissy Cruiser is one of the top jammers in the league, and she's not playing tonight. So we're going to see where it will lead us tonight. Should be wide open. We hope so. Hoping for a tight match. And what are the stakes in terms of the standings here? Well, right now, actually, this specific game, there's still one other game with the Lassies and the Car Hops. So to be honest, this game is it's, uh, one before the championship happens. So it's kind of a warm up. This is, kind of, this is a bit more of a friendly game. It'll get really mean in the next two games. Does that mean they might pull back on the hits tonight and we will be deprived of the bloodshed that we have come to expect? Because there's still ego. Ego. Everyone has to win. The car hops want to win. Everybody wants the car hops to win. And I am not afraid to say that. I'm trophy wife. I'm completely biased. And uh, I'm cheering for the car hops. You can't see me right now, but I am dressed in blue. Get the zebras upset. And tripping. We were it's talking about it off the top before we went to air. Who are the most exciting new car hops? Oh, goodness. Okay. So we've got, um, where is she? We've got Winsome Broodsome. She's going to be a good one to watch. Scissor Me Timbers is another really great one. Um, then we've also got Locked On Lila, who had, who apparently was voted for some of the most, the most hits and some of the best hits. Now, the last time that the Car Hops and the Lassies played, Trailer Park Tracy got kicked out of the game because she got so annoyed by Locked On Lila that she ended up punching her. Oh. Got kicked out of the game, that means she's suspended for three games after that. Oh. Why didn't we cover that game? New what? TV is a fan of <laughs> violence. Well, it might happen again tonight. Start this one off right? Well, look, I don't whistle, hope for that, but, for you know, game, huh? booty blocking's okay with me. I kind of, we, we, we like that. Well, the thing uh, is, though, it's booty blocking, uh, and, and there's the no audience. emotion to it. Well, there is when a guy, never it's mind. It's tempers flare yeah, because, because they're blocking so well. That, that, it, it does get exciting. Oh, Here like we go. Okay, so we've got Lucy Flawless, who's one of the top jammers in all of CRDA. And then we've got Mickey. Mickey She's and another Mickey veteran. Mickey Ficky's an excellent jammer. Look, she finds the hole and she made it. She through. made it to the front, but it wasn't that easy. No. She did have to go through. Now, the Lassies have a wall at the front, but they don't chase. So they've let her go. The thing is, is they stopped Lucy. She's still behind. If Mickey really knows what she's doing. She's going to get through here, and then she's going to call it off. That's if she does. She, and she calls smacks off her own butt. So she was named the lead jammer coming out of the pack first, and the lead jammer has the capability of calling off the jam. So what happened there is that Mickey received three points. She saw that there was a wall right in front, stopped the jam, so she received uh, three points. Lucy received none. A wall of booty, folks. A uh, wall of That's booty. Oh, Just so you. you're not watching this video thinking, I didn't see a wall. It's people. The bar. Okay, now the lasties have already started out. They've already, you'll see that there's already
already a wall right at the back, but they didn't keep right in the line, so it was completely ineffective. Yeah, they found the hole right away. Scarlett doesn't necessarily jam all the time. Oh, She's down. She took a knee. Okay, Carhoff's jammer is out. That was so, Angie Septic. Ideally, what they should be doing, what Carhoff should be doing, is speeding it up. Suddenly getting really fast, speeding it up, speed skating, but they're not doing it. Why aren't they doing it? I'm not quite sure. Well, they've got it right behind them. As you can see right there. They're trying to keep Scarlett for breaking through. That is a perfect example of a wall. That's a booty block. Now, what they've done right here is a thing called goading. So they have got one of the players right in the back, and they push her back. That means they can call the 30 feet rule. Ah, because you can't lag behind by 30 exactly, feet. Exactly, or there's no pass. Okay, here we go. Scarlett's going to go in through. And she just narrowly avoided a hit. That was pretty good. Despite the looseness okay, of the pass. Okay, so now the lassies are going to try to go somebody again, and it looks like they're going, they're trying to. Scarlet called it off, I think. All right, that was good. A lot of possible. Uh, yes. They tried, but it was like playing chess in a windstorm. All the pieces got blown all over the place. You're going to see the lineup. They're right at the line. Everybody is right at the line. So, since they have their jammer right there, what they're going to try to do is hold off as much as possible. So, ideally, what they should be doing is not moving. Keeping a tight pack, tight wall. Well, but uh, uh, the car hops should not be moving off yes. the line. They should be making small little steps yes. to draw out how long it'll take for the, for the jammer to go. But they go right away. I'm not really quite sure what they're doing oh, it's there. It's amazing. You could write a dissertation on roller derby. You certainly could. Okay. Well, you could. Miss L strike. Miss L used to be the captain. Oh, oh. Yes, oh, she strike. got Doing hit. Nice stays in the track and managed to round out the corner. That was close. Okay, and she's she should be skating, skating, skating right now. Here we go. She's she back on the track. Game, and now she needs to get past criminal intent. Perfect. That was beautiful. Yeah, Andy said the guy walks in right through that pack. She glanced around as though waiting for a, a cue from her coach. She calls off the jam. Their coaches were stating that you should call it off. She did not have the jam, so she couldn't. She did call it off, she couldn't have thrown it on the box. Ah, good thing she had the sense of that. Good thing she had awareness of what her status was. Because her was. coaches didn't catch that. Okay, so now we've got, who is it? It's Mickey again. Mickey with, is it Lockjaw Lila? Yeah, it's Lockjaw Lila. Lockjaw Lila, one of your Lockjaw Lila exciting is a heavy, heavy hitter. So should we expect violence here? Oh, I wouldn't. I would not say so. Okay. Okay. So what they're doing? The lassies are getting the right from behind and getting right up front, and then they're sandwiching everybody in. So it's really working to their advantage right now. It appears to be blocking up Mickey. She go. can't get through. Now Mickey gets frustrated when she uh, when she gets trapped like this, and she'll start yelling sometime really soon. She will. Yep. There she is. She's starting. She's going to get hit, but she rounds out the corner and, and stays up. Yeah, there we go. She's being chased. Okay, Lockjaw Lila's right behind her. I was wondering where she was. She's about. I bet they skate fast. Come on, skate. 20 okay, strides Lockjaw. after her. She's going to have to break through this pack again. Oop. Oh, she's and she it off. off. So what the lassies are doing right now is they're nickel and diamond. So they're trying to get every small little thing that they can calling it off. So they keep the car hops at a zero score. Yeah, they have these short controlled jams. I don't think we've seen a full one yet, have we? Oh, no, no. And we probably won't see one Okay. for a while now. Unless, unless the jammers... Uh, um, both mess up and don't get lead status. Then we'll may have to. Exactly. So we got Scarla again. Oh, now I'm surprised that Scarla's jamming. She has a, she has some pretty significant injuries right now. She's a rookie this year, I believe, but just really coming on strong is an incredibly good jam. Oh, good job. Oh, oh, and she gets now, hit right out of the track. Mama Cita is a tough player. Okay, Winsome, Winsome. Oh, good job, Winsome. She got an excellent beak there. Yes. She take it out, let one of the lassies go for her, and then jump to the side. She did lateral movement. It's a great move. 
worked really well. She gained her ground that way. Cut around the inside of the track. She's coming up on the pack now. Is Winsome. So what I would love Winsome to do is to get through nickel and dime them. Yeah, we are actually talking about the taste of their own medicine. Is that they're ski They've all gone together right at the front. And it is a four person wall. That's going to be really difficult to get through. Call it off, Winsome. You should call it off. Fantastic job as a rookie. There it is. Yeah. I don't think she got any points there. The Lassies on that one really doing a good job. Wow. The Lassies really got together and did a good job. They're on the board. The car hops are on the board if we trust. Actual house scoreboard, it's 14 to 2. So Winston actually got two points there. Fabulous job. That was difficult against a four person wall. That was impressive. Okay, so now we've got Miss L Strike and we've got Lucy Flawless. Miss L is a sometimes jammer, so sometimes she likes to jam, most of the time she's in the pack. So we'll see how she does right now. And if you watch, ever watch her jam, you would understand why. Off to a fast You'll see start. That Lucy wow. stomps with her left foot. Lucy yes. That means she's faking it out to Mickey to make her think that she's jumping the other way. But it's Miss L Strike against that uh, Lee Jam position. Uh, Lucy, Lucy hot on her quad, so we're going to try to give her a bump. Miss L Miss knew L that she couldn't beat Lucy, Lucy around the Lucy track, so she called it off. Jet, so she just calls off the jam. Zero points Lucy's for Lucy's a your really team, strong zero player. Zero points for the other is better than. Any All right, 14-2 still after that jam. So, so right now we've got Roadhouse Brew. Yes. She's actually a, uh, a Bella. She's on my team, brand new. So we've been training her a lot right now. Um, against Andy Septic. Andy Septic's an old, uh, she's an old player. She's been playing for a long time, so she has some moves. But Roadhouse has a lot of guts, so we'll see what wins this time. All right, you versus experience. Angie Septic and uh, special guest star. Roadhouse Brews jamming. She gets off to the speed skating start, does Roadhouse. Kind of getting caught inside the pack. Roadhouse, of course, is normally But she stays on her feet. Balance, oh, and she gets around. She took the outside, got around. And now, Angie Septic was trapped position. behind two players. She got sandwiched in between them. That significantly takes down your speed quite a bit when you're sandwiched like that. You have to start again. But she's catching up. What makes the wrong there is that she stopped right at the back. And, and, and Angie Septic, her experience, knew that she points. could skate right in. Four points. She calls it off. And she calls it off. And she calls it off. All right. Points. 18. Now for the Lassies. Kind of building up a lead. I'd like okay. to take a second to uh, so remind you about We've got two of the brand new players uh, on both of the teams. Uh, Mel Lockjaw Lila. First whistle. Pack is off. Now you'll see that the car hops have learned that they've started taking the back position here. And Lockjaw Lila does what she does best. She tries to hit her out right off the bat. Seem to work temporarily. Oh, Ooh. Mamacita got her. Almost well, she breaks time, through. Okay, Melmod gets the jammer. She's got speed. Lockjaw is getting beaten out there. Oh, Braz. Braz is waving her arms around, trying to, trying to get the rest attention. Well, there goes Melmod. Break through. I don't She's know a what smaller the player. what are they doing? They're just letting their their jammer get totally beat down. Okay, there we go. Seems to have some ground here. Melbot rounds out the track oh, quite a bit ahead of the pack now. Still the only jammer out there. She calls it off. 
they did is the car hung started speeding up here skating, which yep. speeded up the entire group. Milpa couldn't keep up, and it took a lot of effort for her to for her to, to get around. And you know what? They don't need the points right now, so she called it off. They still got a sizable lead. Yeah, not they definitely do. Insurmountable though. We're still really early. Just a reminder, folks, we've got our uh, game next week, Ju uh, July 2nd. That's a charity match we're putting together. It's going to be a bunch of girls from uh, around Canada. So we've got two brand new players on the lasties and two more experienced players. Sexy Rexy is known for her really hard hits. But sometimes she can get a bit dirty with her hits. Dirty. So we should walk out. Yeah, we should definitely watch out. She's been cleaning her act up a bit, but yeah, she is. Uh, she's a hard hitter. Mickey jamming for the Lassies. Mickey's stuck behind the wall, and she got took out. Lockjaw Lila gets the lead jammer. Good for her. That was a tough lineup. Whip assist for Mickey here as she rounds the corner, but there's kind of a wall. Now, Mickey Picky is. Yeah, she's going to be skating right through there. But the Hawks seem to be focusing on their own jammer, which is a really great strategy instead of the other camera. You should really take care of your own teammates before you take care of the other team. Scarlet jamming again, and Lucy Flawless. It could go either way, folks. You know, I would have thought that would have gone There's a little bit of cuddling up in the line, so Lucy might hit her right off the line. Double whistle, there go the jammers. They're up with the stars on their helmets. Yeah, that is. Lucy took a spill at the back. Scarla trying to fight through. Looks like she does. She's the lead jammer is Scarla Main. Scissor me timbers up front. Her players really gotta back it up, so they've gotta help her through. And now she's got another wall right at the front. Oh good for Lucy. Lucy up, that was a really tough lineup to get through. On this one. There's a lot of bragging rights. Lucy needs some help. Now she's got a three-person wall with some really tough players. That was going to hurt. Good job. Lucy does a lot of lateral movement. She does a lot of faking out and jumping back and forth. It's really impressive to watch. Lockjaw Lila playing a game of human pinball there. And Scarlett may have a little bit of trouble making that uh, next pass through. Decides to call out the jam before Lucy Flawless could hit the back of the pack and pick up some points. But it's too bad that Lucy has to do so much jam or so much jumping back and forth. I'm really hoping that her uh, her teammates will help her out a bit more. That was uh, <laughs> that was interesting, folks. You didn't have to see it, thankfully. We just got mooned by one of the refs. <laughs> <laughs> I think he meant that for you. I certainly hope so. All right. So who do we got jamming here? No. Oh, it's uh. Hot on her heels is Miss Brucem. That was actually quite an impressive. Miss L. Miss L strike there. She saw that line. Now Winston Brucem is one of the newbies to watch. I can't wait to see her get through. She's catching up. She rounds out the corner on the inside. And she cuts it off. They're yeah. nickel and diamond. They're nickel and diamond. Double points for the trash and lassies have called it off. Let's see how that goes. All right, looks like Lucy's going to be jamming again. Lucy Flawless for the car hops. And. and Roadhouse Cruise. Yes. The turncoat. Walled up. Okay, so you'll see Lucy is lining herself up right off the line. Yeah. This means that she's going to hit her right off the line. So Roadhouse Cruise and Lucy Flawless in the jam position here. Let's watch this. She's going to hit her right out. Roadhouse is lining herself right up for it. Oh! Oh, Roadhouse! Tried, tried to give her before awesome. it could happen. Good. 
good read of that play by. Here we go. Lucy makes it all the way through. That was an impressive. She's got a good margin. Okay, Lucy Flawless is the Lucy lead jammer. Is hopefully, uh, gonna be lapping. She's gonna try to rack up the there points she now. Stomp again. Whoa. Surprisingly, a lot of roller girls do a lot of their oh, hitting really based on, really on the sound. Of, uh, because you don't keeping have eyes in the back of your head. So, <laughs> a lot of the jammers have to stomp one way or the other. Yes. Because your skates make a lot of noise against the ground. They do. They must really know how to hone in on those sounds because this atmosphere is filled with nothing but noise. There's music, there's the announcer, and the skates, and the screaming. So we've got Mickey Thicky and Angie Septic. They'll be jamming for their respective teams. Okay, so now we've also got a bunch of, uh, a bu bunch of newbies on the car hop. Yeah. And a bunch of real old girls on the, on the lappy. I think Septic, she's a great jammer. She's going to have a hard time getting through this. Yes, I think she's caught in the wall there. She's stuck behind that horrible wall. <laughs> Oh, well, Mickey finds Mickey her way Mickey through. Is. And Monacita is going to get her. There we go. So Mickey Ficky, lead jammer, rounds out the top corner. You really need all of your players Don't to get up to the front and help her through. And Angie Stepnick got called up. She has to fight too hard to let them get through that pass. When you have to Make fight sure that hard, you get called off. Your lucky number. The holder of the winning lucky number will receive a Scion prize pack value of $150. Well, Mickey's trying to get through these two at the, the front of the pack. Well, you'll see that group of girls right, right in the back like there. They're going to start slowing it down so their jammer doesn't have to work so hard yes. to around the track. And they're goading at the moment. Mama Sita and Braz are goading. You know, power jams As I was saying before. Today, actually, we wanted to have some jam. We just didn't have any power. All right, here it. comes Mickey again. Denny's has a jam. Behind a wall right now, takes a hit in the top corner. The car hops hops have, they've got a wall, really but it seems it to break down strong. really easily. That's too bad. And they're getting separated. They're going to get called 20 feet. Oh, well, that's it. Mickey uh, tapped out. That was different. As you said, the pace started to slow a bit well, towards the end of that particular jam. And we're ready for another. Scar Lamain will be jamming for the Lassies. There's a shot of the bench. There's Mickey with her heads and shoulders, knees and toes. Is that a timeout? All right. Who All called right, it? Looks like uh, we've got a YMCA, uh, well, an M part of the uh, YMCA. Looks like head and shoulders, knees and toes to me. Well, I, I think what nice. we're saying here is an official timeout. As the official have a official point. timeout. So, tired of they didn't talk about something. They so the officials the called it. So that means the official has something to talk one. about. Yeah. Power jam mode. Something complicated happened. All right, looks like with Sailor and Luke trying to also sit the ready to hit in the pack. I'm not really quite sure what Rexy's doing. Uh, versus I four for the it looks don't like know either. It's some sort of yoga. I, it's kind of <laughs> cool. I don't mind. And the jammer is off. Scarla, right in your That's screen the there. That was something else. See, that actually did not help the car hops at all. No. It created a lot of distraction, and no, the, the, the jammers went right through. Opened it right up. So ideally, what the car hops should be doing right now is getting together as a group and working together. It looks like they're getting split up quite a bit. Yes. The pack's starting to break up. Yeah, Scarlet's got nothing but place. room. Yes. They're scattering. They just can't keep to, seem to uh, keep up. And Scarlet's nickel and diamond again. Yeah, they called that off 
now the lead's starting to grow. 42-13. If you're the car hops right now, what do you do? If you're the car hops right now, what should you be doing? I would group together as a team. I would get together and I would create an impenetrable wall. Who, of course, you can go talk to in our... Beer gardens, assuming you're of age, miles back there. All right, so there are a lot of car hops in, in the box right now. What they're doing uh, very slowly and, uh, is drawing out the time. Are you guys having a good time in the beer gardens? Because every second counts when they, when right, they, have, a, when they have a few players. The now, they've got Brazilian well. wax jamming. Bra Brazilian never did, ever. All right, Lucy Flawless through the pack, and she wants to hear it from you. There's Lucy, she's the lead jammer. Rounding out the corners at the bottom of the track. And Lucy likes to work the crowd yet that for sure. When she catches up, she starts to rack up the points. It's not like oh, she cuts through. Oh. Oh. Mama Sita knocked her down. To, uh, yeah. Did she get hit from behind? No, no, she got hit in the chest. Oh. Oh goodness, excuse me. No, that's that's uh you can get hit in the chest. That wasn't Well, there's the pack, it starts off a little looser. There's the second whistle, jammers are off. Takes a hit right in the top of the corner on the inside. Oh, that was a major hit it got mine, but I don't think she got blown for it. No, I didn't hear it. Oh, and now she also cut the track. Makes it through, Miss L strikes the lead jammer here. She really shouldn't have gotten lead jammer for that, but... Whatever. Because she stepped out of the track. First of all, she did a hitting from behind, then she also stepped out of the track. So that is, that's usually an instant uh, you don't get lead jammer. Oh, disappointing non-call. The fans may riot. Oh, so she calls it off. The lassies, it's amazing. They've got a bit of a lead. They're starting to play a bit dirty. Now, why would they do such things, especially with a lead like theirs? So, do we have a timeout here? We have a timeout. Yeah. And once again, folks, you can tell by the, the refs are needing a timeout. Uh, All right. Itchy elbow or uh, shoulders. It is time for an official. I hope they don't take the opportunity to moon us again. That would be I lamentable. I don't think so. Okay. Because I may riot if that happens. So at the line, we have Melbot and yes. we have Scissor Me Timber. Ah, yes, now, Scissor, Scissor Me Timber. Timber. Is a bit more confident on her skates than Melbot, but Melbot also has quite the lineup supporting her. So, so we'll see what happens here. So you'll see on the lineup right over here, we've got Bre Brazilian Wax. She's a big hitter, huge hitter, and doing a lot of those, a lot of those moves. Which, and then we've got Mama Sita. Mama Sita's an enormous hitter. Um, ah, yes, yes. Uh -huh. All right, there's a second there whistle. Got scissor me timbers in the lead. Scissors Good quick. For her. She beat, she beat yes. Wow, she's cutting through like a knife, sort of. And now she's trapped behind a three-person wall. That's no fun. She finds the all. hole. Lead jammer. Wow. She's a great That's jammer with a lot of agility, and uh, and it took a lot of agility in order to get through that. Would say so. Oh, and she takes a knee, slides the crowd, but I think she, I think she called it off. Yeah. Right, Lucy Flawless and Scarlett Maine. 
to veterans jamming so for their teams. Just an intimidation it tactic. Is. Okay. It's a bit unnecessary since they have a, such a large lead. 30 point lead, folks. Scarla is the lead jammer. That's for the Lassies. So Lucy's got a double person wall right in front of her. Wall is ducking down low, trying to avoid that hit by Twitchblade, uh, taking a bit of a spell. Scarla Main leaping over Sexy Rexy there. Good job. Lucy Flawless worked her way through that. Yeah. Scarla Main But it's too bad. Scarla Main called it off. Kept it tight. 53-22. Lassie's over the car ops. Maybe would have seen three of them. Zion is a proud sponsor of the Calgary Roller Derby Association. All right. Who do we got jamming here? So we have got our local Bella. And we also have, who else is jamming? I can't see who's jamming. Oh, we've got it's Lockjaw Lila. Lila. I don't know what moves me, but I know that uh, it's wheels and contraceptives and hamstrings. It's gonna go, oh, that was tacky. It's gonna move uh, Roadhouse Bruise and Lockjaw Lila as the jammers. Okay, Lockjaw Lila is trying Roadhouse to get around Mama Tina. And I don't know why our entire team is skating way behind the pack. They should, they should be skating up and helping Lockjaw, but it's just not happening right now, which is too bad. Nickel and dime again, huh? Nickel and dime. Roadhouse Brews calling it off for the Lassies. Who's the lead girls? They're at 57 points now to 23. Now, I mentioned the uh, July 2nd charity belt we're going to be putting on, but don't forget we've got a doubleheader with the Crash and Lassies versus the B-52 Bellas and the Cutthroat Car Hops versus All the right. Red Deer Angie Septic on July against 23rd. Brazilian Wax. I'll be right here at uh, Drywood Arena. Sexy Rexy's at it again. Yeah. She picks, she picks on people. I will find out how much you think Is she a bully? Yeah, but she's bullying this game around. Yeah. So Angie Septic and Brazilian Angie Septic Wax. She's caught behind is up against there. a double double wall. Yes. Well, Brazilian Brazilian's the lead jammer for position. the last season. He's out there against uh, Angie Septic. My very first ever uh, roller oh. derby game. Whoa. Wow. wow. Brazilian Good job to the Muffy Del Taco who took out Brazilian Wax. Yeah. She deserves it. Hit. She does. I want to see somebody take out Sexy Rexy next. <laughs> All right, we got uh, Lucille Wrecking Ball calling a timeout. So uh, don't forget, uh, we talked about the tryouts, don't forget to get your pamphlet out uh, in the lobby from the table there. And uh, there will be a number on that. We'll be doing a draw for a tryout prize pack just before the second half starts. Team we have 56 seconds left in this first half, and uh, they will uh, break for 20 minutes. Under a minute uh, left in the first half here. Just before that, we will be drawn. It's like more than double contract. in terms of a so lead. Forget, folks, yeah. That, so, uh, what can the car ops do at this point? They've really got to start grouping the, uh, together. Like right the now, the, the Lassies are great players, but they're individual players. They really need to group stuff. together and free stick free together. Stuff. You'll watch that the car hops get separated, and the Lassies are trying to separate them because they know that once they separate them, they, they're not as strong as, uh, as the Lassies. You got so nothing as long as space. they keep them nice and far away from one another, it's easy. And the car hops are also All right. eating up penalties. Lucy Two really, really solid, uh, she did here. the stomp again, did Lucy. 
And again, Michelle strikes, just beats her way through. I have no idea how she does it. And Lucy's up against a double person wall. Her teammates have really got to start helping her out. They're way in the back and they're right behind her. It's not going to do anything. It's too bad. But she pushes through. Good yeah. for her. Good for she, Lucy. Uh, went on a one foot hop at one point, cutting the inside yeah. of the track just to get through, and that was pretty good. She's still lagging behind the pack, though. She's there got we go. some ground the to make up. up. And see, as soon as, as, soon as they team, the team up, they call it off. Yes. The Lassie's once again calling it off. That's the front half. We're in the Anna. period. Yes. Thank goodness. I hope the car hops take so together and uh, become an impenetrable well force. Good. Yes, so and we'll it's 62 for the Lassies, 24 for the car hops. We're back up in 20 minutes time about. Hi, Mom. That's what you say. <laughs> Well, folks, we'll be back in 20. Folks, we're just about up again, and my co-commentator, trophy wife, not mine, is conspicuous by her absence. We're about set to go anyway, so whether she gets here or not, I gotta line up a Well, never mind what I can see from where I'm sitting right now. I don't want to make mention of it. All right, it looks like we've got a winner coming But if Kashing can get a shot of it, that would be brilliant. Congratulations. Well, they're starting to break up now. I guess it's not that worth it. Well, my commentator's slapping right, everyone on the booty. That's kind of cool. We got that on camera and quite entertaining for us. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. So I had a short break yeah. with uh, with some of my my B52 Bellas off in the corner there. So ah, did you slap their butts too? I did. Nice, I did. nice. I don't. I, I asked rhetorically because we know we filmed the whole thing. So <laughs> one day we'll blackmail you. That's okay. There's enough film footage of me slapping people's butts that I, I don't think I can be blackmailed. <laughs> I think it's expected. So. Did you know that? Uh, during the 1984 federal election, general election in Canada, the leadership debate, uh, it came up that John Turner, who was the liberal leader at that time, uh, slapped women on the butt and stuff. Really? It became an issue. Really? Yeah. So well, so I don't you're plan on running right, for political, political office, well, but okay. if I do, I think I'm in I, major I trouble. Yeah. In major trouble. You will be. You, that that rep just flirted with you. You know, one thing about the Lassies, they do have a really good chance. They do. It's really forceful and. Uh, it's like it, it very. It seems to have a lot of vigor to it. Yes. It pumps them up. All right, we're just about set to go. I think, is that loosely flawless? Lucy Flawless for the against uh, Miss L Strike. Miss L Strike. Lucy Flawless. Lucy Flawless. Kind of looks like Bob Ray. Do you know who that is? Oh, there was some mix up about the whistle. That was a little close. It was They didn't wait their normal length of time. But anyway, 
Jammers are off with the pack. Oh, Lucy good job. Takes Smarty it. Pants oh, stuck on that line, and then yeah. she opened right up as soon as Lucy needed it. That, that was, was pretty fantastic. Neat. True veteran. So Miss L Strike is still hole. trying to get through, and she made it through. So ideally what Lucy's going to do right now is she's going to get through the pack and then call it off. Nickel and dime, just like the last has been Give them to her. a taste of their own medicine. That's right, that's right. She's trying to she's cut on the inside. She's going to fight through. That's an intense wall there. Yeah. The, her, her, uh, her teammates have really got to help she's her out. Through. Here we go. Yes, she should call it off here. move to get ahead. Nope, nope. She's not going to. She's going to push it through. Really? Oh, good for them. They built a really great wall. Miss Al was stopped by it, and she gets pushed out. She must have stamina to keep this going. You know, it's too bad. When you're, uh, when you're not lead jammer, the ref follows you around with that swinging, that yeah. swinging motion. Well, was that the full jam? That was the full jam. Wow. Well, actually, no, 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 no. Sorry, excuse me. No, uh, uh, Lucy called it off. Uh. All right, Scarla Mame against Scissor Meat Scissor Timbers. Meat Timbers. She's a little a pirate. I think it's a great name for it's a great, great name. roller woman. I have to say, my favorite name is Barbara Walters. It is. Barbara Walters. It is a good name. It is a and good her, name. And her number is 2020. Ah. All right, Jammers. Oh, good off. job, Scissor. That was fast, and she didn't take that, that hit guts. flush. Yeah. Oh, Scarlet Mane just got right through. She went in right on the inside, but the yeah. um. But Scissor is not, but a few strides she's behind. Right behind yeah. her. Right behind her. Pack is slow. It's a tight wall. Scarlet cuts the outside. Oh, that was too easy. She took the outside, went and, in. And they almost blocked their own Jammer. Well, looking at 70-32, top of this second half. Okay, so so we've got all all of the uh, all of the car hops near the front here, and then we've got a lot of the lassies in the back. Yeah. So they're creating a three-person wall in the back. Carhop should pick up on that right now. Winslet's gonna have a hard time getting through that. See, it's it's tough. She ran right into the wall. It's tough. Yes. Well, Melbot finds a hole, gets a little bit of a boost. Oh, good for her. And she hit right back. Stays oh, up. Oh goodness, that was a tough one. She stayed in the track she though. She took it good just like her. a pro. Yes. Oh, and she got past Mama Sita. That's a that's a that's a feat. Oh, win some skate, skate, skate. Yeah, she's got to catch the pack again because Melbot's about to pass on the outside. Yeah. Roll over mid, that's too bad. Calls it off. Oh, the no, win some is in the off. box. Okay, so we've got, we've got Roadhouse Brews. Roadhouse Brews is my girl. She is my girl. She's my favorite. All right. She is on the Lassies. But she generally plays for the for the Bellas. Yes, so. she's a substitute. And we have a timeout. Okay, another timeout here. Which looks a lot like the little teapot song. By Melissa Dean. But certainly. Oh, it looks like Lucille Ball is uh, cracking some heads. Yes. I mean, there's just a key to hiding in the booth, too. No one can see you. They can only hear you. That's true. We have uh, we have exciting action. We have great I'm stealing one of your gummy Coke bottles. Oh, yeah, for We've sure. Got some good, good treats back here. Uh, folks, you couldn't see that, but she stole, well, she ate a gummy Coke bottle, which sure is did. perfectly okay. Because <laughs> this is ghetto new TV. All okay, right. oh, look, we've got some interesting lineups right here that's yeah. happening. Um, this is a tight, tight pack. You can't see different. it. You see the jammer right there. The I don't what know. It's Sexy Rexy is doing the worm, yeah. apparently. She's doing a, looks like an Indian push-up. Okay, so As Sexy Rexy is taking herself out of the game. Why? I'm not really quite sure why. 
She oh. went showboat. I don't yeah, know. That was kind of like maybe she can explain to us after what she was doing. Yeah, the channel, the I old don't Donovan know if it was Bailey. Effective or not, but maybe it was. I don't think it was. Oh, wait. Oh, she's doing so well. Is this the one time you'll be cheering for the lassies tonight? This is the one time. Oh. This is the one time. I cheer for Mama Sita and my girl. And your girl. Roadhouse. Oh, she just got taken out on the inside. That's all right. And a small player, too. This is me Timbers is a small player, but she's got a lot of she's got a lot of uh, pack to her punch. Yes. I have noticed okay, that. Okay, so Alexa now, as you'll see right at the back there, the Lassies successfully go to the player. And so they got to the 20 feet. She found the hole. And there's Roadhouse. Oh, Looked and, like she was oh, trying to. Oh, Moonshine had a chance to hit her, but she didn't. And there she calls it off. That was an excellent jam. Yeah, it was tight. What? What is going on? We had some confusion. Roadhouse Bruce didn't do a full circle around the track. In so order she was to not get... the lead jammer. Well, no, she got a penalty. Oh. But when you get a penalty, when you get called off, you have to go straight to the chair. You're not allowed to go you back. Can't do a... And apparently she was just a little too far past really? the chair. So she had to do a full circle around. So now she's off, off. So now we've got win some, bruise some. Okay, so we've got a big wall at the back. Yeah. Now, ideally what they would do, oh, and now they're all leaving her behind. I'm not really quite sure why they're doing that. They're oh. leaving their jammer to get beaten up, but she got through. Good for her. She barely missed that hit. She could have been so crushed ideally, there. So ideally, what's going to happen next is they would begin just like that, uh, and then they would take her right through the pack. Messy. It got a bit. It did get a bit messy. You guys are not nearly loud enough. How about those people that are still sober? Okay, so now we have the Lassie Jammer in the box. Okay. And we have Lockjaw Lila. Lockjaw Lila has some incredible hits on her. I would like to see her do that while she's jamming. But we'll see what happens. All right, well, there's she's the pack. She is up against some, a really tight crew there. Yes. They're These sticking together. The Lassies have been working together forever. Well, she's seeming to she's cut around the outside. Players. She's gonna need some players. She to finds help a hole, out. I think. No. Nope. Well, she's really strong. Mercy, Mercy Beats has got to speed it up here. Yeah, she's stuck in there. That's a tight wall. She's trying to make it around the outside. Okay. Spice and Mercy Beats are fighting off players that are in the back. It would have been a little bit more effective for them to hit to the front, the front. But that's okay. She got through. That was the point. These Coke gummies are good. I'm feeling more. <laughs> oh, please do. <laughs> so Lockjaw and Lila is going to start to, okay, if she can, again. rack up some points. Now the Lassies, they are sticking together. They're doing a great job. But she finds a hole in the inside. Good job. She gets a boost. The car hops really took them on. She looks a little winded. Come on, Lila, you gotta skate, skate, skate. Yeah. There we go. Still with the Lassie's wall at the front. It's gonna be tight. Okay, so they're creating a big line at the back. They got a helper up there. She's not getting any help. It was all on her own. Well, she called it off. That was a good jam for the you car. Know what? That was a tough jam. Yeah. I feel for Lockjaw right now. Like that was she got a, a, a lot of points and uh, and she did a lot of fighting right at the front, getting breaking through walls. Good for her. It takes a lot of skill in order to do that. Yes. It's Scarla and Scissor. Scissor me. So Scarlet's one of the original members of uh, the RDA. And she's been captain of the Lassies for ages. I don't even know when she was the captain of the Lassies. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you haven't been born yet. Yeah, exactly. 
They're scissor me. Oh, scissor me, Timber. Oh, oh she God, took a big hit. Oh. She did. She did. That was That's hard. Okay, she's right back up. Yes. And Scarla. Oh, Scarla Scarla's got outside the track. So they all got to catch up now. There we go. Go oh, scissor. Scissor did a great job. So there are a lot of lossies in the box right now. Which, with such a, a large lead, you'd think that they'd play a little cleaner. Scarla nearly takes out a rep. Angie Septic did a great job pushing oh. Scarla out. Scissor me slid out as a result. So now, Lucy Flawless pushed Scarla out, and she's hitting her like crazy. Oh, good job, Septic. So they're dragging back. Scarla has to get in behind her. Oh. Big hit right in front of her. It was not ne needed. That was, it that was, was behind the pack. It was necessary. Scissor me, Timbers. Scarla being called on a penalty. I believe this is her first night, which kind of makes this a special night. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's the first time I've seen her in the. Well, she's going to try to cut through again. Takes a big hit at the corner. Oh, no. On, her, on the ground. She just couldn't keep her balance yeah. off of that double hit. Big hit. Oh, here he, she's stuck behind Brad. She really needs help. She needs, I don't know why uh, all of her players are away in the back. This is a long jam. Let's hear it for her, folks. Come on. That's the full two minutes She did a great job. Yes. I was impressed. We've got Winsome Brutsome. The last right. jammer is still in the box. So this should be a good opportunity if she can capitalize on it. Her pack has got to help her out right in the front or she's not going to get through. Yeah, it's tight. I she's trying to cut her around the inside. Oh, she, did, she got a horrible can opener. Yikes, she got another one. This is exhausting. What are our players doing? She stayed in the track, though. She didn't go down. Oh. That was tough. That was really tough. Her teammates really should have been up front there. That's okay. She got through. She got beaten up in the meantime. Now Scarlett's back out on the track. Oh, there's the ghost killer. Spice taking out 50 50, allowing with some person to make her way through. Now she's got a deke out criminal. Good job. Oh, no. Calls it off. She called it off, though. Took out her own player yeah. in the process. That's too well, bad. Well, they took each other out, it seemed. But that was a good, that was a good yeah, try. That was a, that was a good jam. Very action packed. Okay, we got Lockjaw Lila again. She's been doing great this time around. That's the last and only time we'll see And she's squaring off against the Miss L Strike. Oh. oh, good job, Lucy. Takes out Miss L right off the bat. Shoulder right to the face. Lockjaw Lila gets through with no problem. <laughs> Lockjaw Lila just rounded off the corner at the top of the track. Lockjaw Lila's doing a great Making a job. Full pass I think it's off of a new star jammer. In position to start racking up Here those we go. points. Oh, she's got a horrible wall. That Mama Sita, she is just a nightmare to get around. I'm glad she's on my team now. <laughs> oh, she's suffering. Push it all. See, while she's being pushed, she's still going with her feet. Yeah, she's strong. Which is amazing. It's great. And she calls it off. Good, good for her. So I get back Apparently there's a bachelorette party. Apparently, let's see who these 
people are. Well, never mind. Over there, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a bachelorette party. And they've got a bachelorette party way at the back. The prettiest bachelorette I ever did see. I can't even oh, see her. Okay, so we've got Mickey Ficky up against Scissor Me Timbers. Scissor Me is quickly becoming. Sit, uh, but Mickey, it, she's a veteran. She knows what she's doing. There's. She's trying to cut through. She avoids a hit, stays on her feet. She exited the track that Scissor Me. So Mickey, Mickey gets through. is the lead jammer. No problem at all. And again, we've got the car hops all at the back of the pack. Yeah. And they let their jammer just get the crap kicked out of them. And Mickey gets through, no problem. Well, and she calls it off. Calls it off. They're back to that tactic. Nickel and diamond. Yes. It's a good tactic. It works. It has worked for them. 95.59. Just under 15 minutes remaining. So if you didn't win that sign up prize pack. All right, we got two of my favorite jammers out here. We'll be at, uh, we got Roadhouse Cruz from the Bellas. And, and then Lucy we've got Lucy Flawless. Flawless. Lucy Flawless is an impeccable skater. She has that stomping fake out. So she's got more than just a stomping fake out. She's got an incredible hit. She's fast as can be and really agile. And she gets through no problem. Good for her. She hopped around the side of the track. Roadhouse gets through on the outside. Roadhouse, you knew better. You know better. Like they say, you know, in an answer, you have to make life. There are no two others. Okay, and Lucy calls it off. I'm not sure if Roadhouse Cruz uh, picked up the point. She didn't quit skating. Yeah, no, it looks like All right. Getting set for the next. Angie Septic and Angie Septic and Melbot. 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 Now, I think it's Victoria that Melbot's from. I, I I might be wrong. I know she came from another league though. I think this could probably go either way. It could go either way. Oh no! They're both out. They both went out of bounds. Yeah. Outside the track. Angie's stuck at the back. Now she's in the middle of the track, outside of bounds. She got head out. Melbot, Melbot stuck behind yes. a wall. Good for them. Nice Good job, Novel One, and win some. You slowed her down. And she's now they've stuck. left their jammer alone again. Now all of the, the their their crew is up front. So it seems as though the car hops either get their entire their entire pack either stuck up front or behind. Oh, they took out their own player. <laughs> well, and and that's it for this jam. That got a little messy. It did. It did. Scarla, main captain of the Lassies, looked like she called a timeout. She is calling a timeout. Car hops were slowly inching up on them. They were really working together well. Yeah. What I'd really love to see from the car hops this time around is for them to um, to move with the jammer instead of sticking right at the front or right at the back. The lassies seem to spread themselves out really well and then come together when they need it. So Do you think they're being coached in the way you've said it? The car hops coach, is she telling them to stick together? Do you think the car hops coach is telling them to stick together? I hope the way so. you're describing? I hope so. Because it seems like their packs break up a little more quickly. They're really picking it up though. Whatever the coach is telling them, it's working. So. Okay. All right, so Lucy Flawless and Scarlamine in the jamming position. <laughs> No one's moving. 
Nope, really slow. Here we go. There's a double whistle on these Hansgrove's jammers. Hansgrove's gonna try to hit her. She did not go out. No, nope. they did both, not they, go out. they stood their ground. And she stuck behind Mama Sita, one person. But she was smart. She coasted on the inside of the track without going out. That's good, good strength. There she goes. Good ability by Lucy. Yeah, and she really skated the inside of the track without getting knocked out of bounds. You can see how talented and how well balanced that Lucy is because she can get hit and hit and hit. Yeah, and, and not she lose did. her focus or her balance. It's exactly what happened right there. And she got past everybody on the outside. Amazing. On the corner, that's amazing. I want to see her laugh, Scarla. Oh, she called she, it off. Well, Too she bad. was close. <laughs> May have been about 20 strides off from lapping her, but smart, racked up some points, called it off. Sorry, I'm eating all your Coke bottles. That's okay. Okay. That's what they're here for. Let's see if Sexy Rexy will do more yoga. Well, it's, uh, yeah, we would be in an angle to be on the receiving end of it. All right, there goes the pack. And the jammers are off. Winsome stuck in the back. Okay, Mickey's so the still Hawks trying are to make all way together. Through. Yeah. They've got quite the line. They've got to form it, form it, form Two it, get all together. Ball. They're stuck. Uh, looks like Mickey, Mickey had to fight her way through. That was great for the Hawks. They did a good job. Now they've got to help their jammer out. She's stuck behind um, another wall in the back. And again, we're going through the exact same thing, where um, where all of their players were in one area and not helping out their jammer. And it's still happening now. Oh, <laughs> that was douchey. <laughs> Nearly killed those fans. <laughs> Especially that guy with the plastic <laughs> bag. That was awesome. Sorry, Twitch, but it was. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy Flawlessette, Melbot. Melbot. Another timeout. Lucy Flawless, okay. There's a lot of timeouts Lucy happening. Shoulders. Yes. Selassie's 101, Carhoff 65, under nine and a half minutes left. Mathematically, strategically, is it possible for the Carhoffs to close this gap? Oh, most definitely. All right. Most definitely. You'd think that every time around is two minutes. And really, on average, let's say that a max that you can get out of one jam is 20 points, 20 to 25 points. Totally can totally do it. It's doable. Miles is uh, back there representing Dickens Club. If you have any questions about the shows that are coming up, he's always happy to help out. He's in as, as charming as he is pretty. It's a shot of Lucille Ball. Uh, Disgusting. So Twitch played for that douchey move that she did. It's in the box. She knows. The bus saw it. Everybody saw it. There really is. He's been going on for about. Uh, Seem to be a point of debate there. Right there are the jammers on your screen. They're waiting for the uh, play to resume very patiently. Ideally, as a jammer, you use these moments right now to focus, to do a little bit of sports psychology on yourself, or to bond with your team to try to figure out a plan, like how are you going to get through? What's going on? So, a smart jammer, that's what they'll be doing right now. What do you think they're telling themselves right now? Right now, personally, when I'm at that line, I'm picturing myself getting through that path. Good. Positive and self reinforcement. Our trying to start the wave. Well, they must all have tennis elbow because it's not working. You contributed. Of course I did. You contributed, you sheep. 
I'm you would have rioted in Vancouver. I'm a joiner. Melbot hit to the ground. Lucy Flawless had stepped behind a wall, but she got past. Now she's trying she to get past criminal intent, and she, she did. did it. That was impressive. She found all the holes. Lockjaw Lila is holding back Melbot. Let's see how long she can do it for. Oh, not for long. Without getting well, the 20 foot roll. But good for Lockjaw. She's had an incredible game. Oh, yeah. Melbot's in the box. I'm not sure why, but she is. Lucy broke through again. Lucy Flawless is on a breakaway. There are, there are a lot of lassies in the box. There's complaint by the back oh, of the pack Mama there. Sita, I think, down. She's hurt. She's crawling away. I She's trying to get off the track. Well, Mama Sita's arguing. I didn't see that move. Whatever happened to, to Mama. Well, she's up on her own power, which is good to see. She was hurt for a while there. She couldn't get up for the initial moments of that incident, whatever it was, but she's up on her own power, and that is encouraging. Seems like she was annoyed by something that happened on the track. And now Lucille Wrecking Ball is, uh, is also arguing with the ref. Something's going on here. This is serious. She looks livid. But she kept it respectful. Whatever the debate was about. I mean, you know what? There are a lot of lassies in the box. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure what Lucille Wrecking Ball is getting mad about, but maybe it's because uh, maybe it's because they're not calling certain things. Who knows? Yeah, our uh, resident lip reader, Rinaldi Gulinao, is not on duty tonight, so we couldn't tell what that was all about. <laughs> Carhops are catching up though. Yeah. And we've got Lucy Flawless, one of their best jammers, on the line. Well, this is an so interesting So what they're trying to do here right now, the, the whistle has already been blown. So they're trying to hold off as long as possible. And we've got Sexy Resty doing this thing again. I'm Maybe she really just enjoys sure that. It, pleasure, pleasure, that's what. <laughs> well, there she was holding off one of the people from uh, from getting across yes. the line to hold the whistle from the from the That jammer, too. Okay, here comes Lucy Flawless. Cuts the inside of the track and gets ahead of Scarla. There she goes. Incredible skater. Deep That's some Scarla. fancy footwork. Milbot's getting ready to go back in. Yep, and there she is. And the lassies have their jammer. Oh, <laughs> Rexy oh, totally with a taste out. of her own medicine. I always like when I talk about Melba, I like to make sure that I say her number. And that's like a bruiser. Melba, 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 Melba. Oh, Scarla Mama. Yikes. Scarla didn't even have to. She just knew. She went right to the box. Yeah. Was that a hit from behind? That was a tripping. Tripping? Horrible. Okay, so Lucy called it off right there. That was a good play done by Lucy Flawless. Got right. around Twitchblade really well. Getting a little bit of a, a love bite from uh, Rexy. What are these house announcers talking about? We've got about 20 points left. 20 get points. Back up and All right. Tied right up. Yes. We've got five minutes to get 20 points. That essentially could be one great jam. And while we got a great jammer, it's well, so two of them. Scissor me timbers up against Miss L. Miss L. Those and are both pretty me. good jammers. Yeah. They're, they're pretty. They're pretty? Oh, excuse me. I got distracted. 
<laughs> oh, no, they're, they're uh, pretty, they're pretty furious. furious. Ah, okay. <laughs> You both are very pretty, but... <laughs> yes. What well, it was her who said it first. Oh, dirtbag is in the box. We have got how many people? Oh. It's, it's a full house over there. In the box. Okay, well, the pack is off. They're kind of crawling. They want to keep it tight. And here are the jammers. Oh. Scissor gets knocked down. Okay. Miss L Strike is getting behind. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Yikes. Self takeout. We're having some out. Yeah. Some elbows flying. got to just over four minutes left on the clock. 103.84, actually 107.84. It can happen, it can happen. The way that the, the Lassies are, rank, are, are racking up the penalties, it could happen. They do have quite the power play at the moment. All right, so jamming for the Lassies is Mickey Ficky, Mickey Ficky and it's Lucy, Lucy Flawless for the car hop. They got Scarlett Maine that came in right in front of Lucy Flawless. Yeah. Makes it tough to get by, but if anyone can, you got to think it's Lucy. Oh, Lucy again, Collins. inside of the track. Right she went in right for the inside. Fancy Under footwork her. again. Mickey Picky stuck behind a three-person car hop wall. Car hop has got to slow it down right now. They've got to slow it right down. They're trying to, but their pack is breaking up a little yeah. bit. Well, Mickey got just ahead enough to get Lee Jammer and immediately tapped out. Kept it in a short burst, like you were saying. They're trying to prevent them from racking up points, them being the car hops. And they that jam was kind of like the textbook sample of that strategy. So right now, I think we've got all the lassies back from the penalty box. We've got about two minutes and 45 seconds left. Ideally, what would happen right now for the car hops is that they would have they would have some sort of breakaway where the jammer could just go around and around and around and rack up those points. Not sure if that's going to happen. Whoa. Lockjaw. Lock doing an incredible job. But she's stuck behind mama. a massive wall right now. That's a tough wall. Yeah, that's uh, excellent blocking. Sure oh, she got through. Her teammates have got to help her out with those balls. And she got through. That's really impressive. Yeah, that was something else. Scarlett attempted a big hit. Scarlett Scarla got sent off. Whatever Scarla, she says. Scarlett hit, um, she hit the car hop jammer when she was 20 feet ahead. Oh. Now, Scarla knows, and we all know that Scarla does get ahead of the pack. So she knows what she has, uh, what she has to do when she's ahead. Wow. All right, Lucy Flawless and Malbot. All right. There's special people, and they all wear helmets for a reason, and we appreciate everything they do for us. It's the last Without minute. Them, this game would be really hard to follow. 55 seconds. I remember that the refs fall in 107.88. Oh, Lucy Flawless, I hope she didn't step out. It looks
looked like she might have. Not sure, but we'll see. The refs were closer to it. Of course, our okay, her players have got to speed it up. If it weren't for him, you wouldn't be able to hear us. Smart. Oh, but she got knocked out there. If you're wondering, that might not be an entirely bad thing, but I assure you, we bring a lot to the game. Okay, so Melbot's Melbot, ahead, but she's first. not, not the... Okay, Lucy was the lead jammer and now, she called it off. Steel Wrecking Ball is calling a timeout at this moment. That means that there's an extra minute on the clock. Lucy Flawless got that sensation and called it out, called it off. Now they say you learn something new every day, and this morning I woke up and I couldn't remember a thing from last night. So, uh, oh, uh, I can lip read a little bit. I saw what she said. Right, One of those on. words is very All obvious. Words zone. We're in timeout zone because there are 15. They said car hops. Seconds left. <laughs> this will be. I saw that. That was some pretty amazing lip reading skills. Yeah, I know. I want to hear as much noise. I learned from the best, Rinaldi Rambo Gooley now. Shout out to him. Okay, All right. so we've got Angie's. Oh, no, that's not Angie. Uh, that's Cecily Timbers of Miss Elstrike. They've been matched up a lot tonight. They have. They really have. And they're pretty. <laughs> they are pretty, apparently. Well, uh, you they are. No, yeah, they yeah. are. Uh, looks like we're still in that 30 second timeout by the car hops. She's got really good timing, though. It's just, we will. Oh yeah, well, they're both stuck at the back. Scissor me, oh, and the ref, oh. Scissor me Timbers uh, took out a ref inadvertently. Well, this is getting a bit messy. We have a hurt ref. Oh. oh no, I hope he didn't hurt his back. Well, I guess that's it, and the ref, uh, the refs heard it. I, I the think only one officially hurt was the ref. Yeah. He's been known to have a bad lower back, so. Yes, the last game I called, he was hurt. Yes. He actually uh, had, uh, applause for, uh, twisted had quite the accident the last game. Got taken out there by uh, one of the players. Well, he, he's uh, he's uh, on his yeah, feet. That That's a good sign. Ago, uh, he uh, was really down the last time. That was a really good showing by the car hops. They kept up with the lassies. They certainly gave them something to fight with. They put on a hell of a match for you guys tonight. And don't forget, if you like what you saw here, well, they're going to be matched Hill, up again. West Hill, Hearst Community Association. Now, you mentioned next keeping Saturday, tighter packs. What else would you do as the car hops for next time? A, uh, if we had the car hops? Yeah. yeah. Personally, I would just make sure that they help their jammers. 100%. They've got to help out their jammer. There were so many times with the car hops where the jammer got stuck behind a wall of lassies. And their players were either way ahead or way behind. But they did a great job. The Jammers fought their way through. They played a really good game, and it was clean. It was very enjoyable, too, folks. We'll get them this next time, nice. Car Hops. We'll get them next time. Once again, let's have a round of applause for uh, our referees and officials uh, helping us make this show possible. Well, folks. Wraps it up for us. 107 Lassies, 88 car hops. And as we say goodbye to the eye in the sky, thank you, Trophy Life, not mine, for joining us. So for NUTV, on behalf of my broadcast partner, on behalf of director Tim Mooney, on behalf of James Wu, John Wilson, Nancy Cho, and Kashing Lai, that's it for us. We will see you in July. That's it from the Triwood Arena. Good night.